It was a Friday afternoon in, in the University of Miami. A young quarterback was getting tired of being underused. So, and he told the co my coach at the University of Miami that he uh, was fed up. <laughs> the, that quarterback went right on to transfer to the University of Alabama, Birmingham, where he, he met Coach Michael Schilling, and he uh, replaced the legendary Jerry Bell, okay, even though he was not that legendary, and he led, along with his hatback Quinn Pearson, they were formed the most fearsome duo in the country. This is the Paul Matthews Connected Franchise Series. Yes, guys, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube, and welcome to my next video to be flagged due to content that's not supposed to be on here. Okay, I am just kidding. With all seriousness aside, looks like YouTube has finally got their crap together. Okay, not really, because earlier today, Dark Side Phil got a cop a supposedly legit copyright strike from Sega. But since I don't review any Sega games on here, it looks like I'm safe. But EA could get me because I'm going to be signing up with full screen soon. So yes, if you guys enjoyed that backstory, this is the Paul Matthew series. If you guys didn't check, I didn't check his uh, stats for Paul, so you guys do have to bear with me. And also, I'm going to do I'm going to do what Sports Gaming Universe does. Doing the da, da 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 bowl simulations. And it'll happen later on. So you do have to get Oh, by the way, you could use an active player. You have to retire after 15 years, which is pretty stupid, but here, you don't have to retire at a certain age. So, here we go. Paul Matthews was more of a... Was... Oh boy, this is a little embarrassing. We're gonna make him more of a good act pocket passer, but normally this would really affect it. But if he, if Paul Matthews was with the University of Miami when he was with the Blazers, he would be an early draft pick, that's for sure. So it's now time to pick a team, and this is probably possibly the toughest part here. And, no, and look, he could get a starting job in Buffalo. Cleveland, and oh, he, he can get a starting job in Arizona, but right now things right now are not as they seem around here. As we take a look here at potential spots here, and as you can see, he there's a lot of good opportunities for Paul here as he gets this decision made here. And as you can see, he can go as high as no, in the low 80s, almost to the mid 80s in some places. Not a 90, which is really unfortunate. But Paul was waiting his turn to get picked. But in the end, he went to a team that doesn't have much depth, has a lot of depth, but in their quarterback position, and their quarterback position needs a lot of help. As Paul Matthews will be joining. Is joining. The Jacksonville. Ja okay, ja not Jacksonville. Instead, it's the. Did I forget to mention? He wanted to join a team from California. That's right. He'll be choosing the St. Louis Rams. Sorry, Sam Bradford, you're getting replaced. You're yay, he gets to keep his number 16. Oh, yay, thank you. And also, the next, the first episode will be coming, will be coming soon. So, here we go. Paul Matthews makes his highly anticipated debut. Gets its own series. Here. 
And also, there is, a, there is another someone that's gonna make his debut very soon here. And also, we gotta make it to get to UAB on here because we're not that far away. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. What am I doing? Do I missed. Okay, we're passing Texas. That means UAP is not that far away. There, there goes. There it is. Bingo. As you guys should know, Paul, he doesn't look anything like that. This is probably the closest he has been. And wow, he actually does look good wearing that. Yeah, he'll be wearing. He'll be six four. Helmet type. Well, honestly. I prefer him wearing the uh, Revolution Speed looks terrible with the hel that helmet. The uh, Revolution looks really good. We're gonna go with the three bar running back as well. Face marks, note the sleeves, they're gonna be long. Back plate doesn't need it. Back plate doesn't need it. Arm sleeves. Please doesn't need it. Now gloves. Let's see here. Oh, that's right. He's the quarterback. He doesn't need gloves. Here he goes. Throwing styles here. We're going to go with... Not the generics. We're going to go with Sam Bradford. Yeah, let him be Sam Bradford. And hold on. Oh, ratings. As you can see, he is a very talented player. As you can see, he's an 85 overall, which is not that bad. And player traits, that's the same. So there it is. Since he's already an instant starter, we're going to... Don't want to make the same mistake here. Quarter length. Ooh. There we go. Start career. And there it is, Paul Matthews has been created. He'll be going to the NFC West. And boy, he was the quarterback that led UAB to its first and only national title, which will probably never happen in real life. As you can see, hold on, is there anybody for, nope, I guess, uh, Oh no, I guess Todd McShay is the only one that said a special tool set. So we're going to start the league. We're not going fantasy draft because that would be very stupid. Oh, by the way, you know what? I haven't actually shown this feature off, so let's see what happens here. Since he's an 85, and now he's an 86. Okay, let's see what happens here. So I chose St. Louis. Let's see what's going to happen here. I am so nervous. And uh oh. Third string. I think I may have screwed all here. So. So I get to show this feature off, which is good. I just can't believe it. I feel so bad for Dark Side Phil right now. He got a copyright strike. A few months after I got mine removed. Thanks, Verminion. Thanks a lot. So here we go. As I'm checking Twitter, by the way, follow me on Twitter at Mike from LA for more updates, including the uh, situation. And also, I know a lot of you guys have been messaging me over the WrestleMania 31 announcement, which will take place in Santa Clara, California. Which, if all things do go as planned, I may be attending that one. It depends how much of the tickets are. On that, I don't see. Don't see that much of a problem. You're yeah, also the WWE just filmed tribute to the troops. I don't know why I just said that, because now what's their kind of flag at? Just for me saying that. That's all I gotta do is just get ready for uh, Impact Wrestling tomorrow for. Let's see, and why am I back on Twitter? It, 
Oh boy. Let's see. Oh boy. Skip Bayless picks Tebow. A full redraft. Yep. Got that right, ladies and gentlemen. So, yes, here we go. We're going to choose the full fantasy draft feature here. And I doubt this video... I'm really hoping this video doesn't get claimed, but since my video quality is crap, I... My luck... My luck may be good. And if you guys notice on my uh, TV, you would notice that there's a little m and M guy up there. Yeah, I placed him up there because that was my original ornament for my Christmas tree when I was younger. And it, let's see what happens. He's going to be a third string quarterback for the Colts. Are you freaking kidding me? Well, I guess this is nice for a change, but we get a second Colt. Which means Drew Gamer may be getting into a bit of a feud here to determine a winner, loser, leaves Indy situation. Okay, let's see who, who, who's Paul Matthews behind. I mean, 85, that's, out, that's a good character trait. That, no, not retire. Well, I guess we get to show that off. But it's not time for him to retire. Let's see, who is he behind? If it's Tom Brady, I'm leaving. Oh! It was picked first round! I want to know who got who drafted him. And, oh no! Um, that much. Um, that was a little embarrassing. Okay, well at least we get to show it off. But I accidentally, accidentally quit it. How embarrassing! Well, that means I have to do it all again. So, Paul, hopefully he doesn't go to Indy. We're going to try Fantasy Draft again with my next character. So, don't worry. And this time, and this time we will go. And we're going to do it as I intended. Do it as intended. We're going to go St. Louis. Don't worry. Don't worry, Minnesota or Tennessee. I want... I, my my goal intent for this game is to do a Tennessee series, so don't worry. I am planning that. Okay, let's make our way to UAB. Yeah. Oh shoot, I just skipped it. I, I love that it stopped at UCLA. So here we go. It's going to be all. Oh, first name. do I missed. Matthews. Oh, we get to choose a face. I actually didn't do that. And yes, you can import your game face, but for this, we're just going to go with that 9 here. And see, wow, that actually looks good. And then, okay, we're just going to get Yep, and has said to run into the game here. So Sam Bradford just got trolled, told him he saw Jeff Coach Fisher says, sorry, you're out of here. That's all I gotta say about that. We're just gonna hit start the season. Next character will be 
Next character will be Fantasy Draft, I can guarantee you that. And his first preseason opponent, which we'll see a tad bit later, will be a game against the St. Louis the Cleveland Browns, so it'll be quarterback versus quarterback in my coaching carousel series in NCAA 13. It'll be, although, Braylon Bird, which is, Braylon Bird is not in this game. So, Paul Matthews is going to the, to the Rams. Join us in just a few minutes as we get ready to see how, and see how, our next character, who our next character is. So this is my familiar one, signing off for just a few minutes.